Hey, it's Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mount canvas to board. I want to give you some tips and tricks so that it is high quality, archival, and also easy and affordable. So let's get started. This video is part of a year long project getting ready for an art exhibition at the Phipps Center for the Arts in December of 2020. I'm super excited about it and I want to share all the steps that go into getting ready for an art show. So if you're interested in joining this journey, don't wanna miss an episode, be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit the little bell. That'll tell you every time I post a new video. In some of my previous videos, I've shown you how I've done small color studies. Let me show you just like this one maybe. And I'm using those as um, practice before I invest in time, energy and making a big one. So this is the big one I just have started based off of this color study. Now some of the color studies I really like and think that maybe people would want to buy them, but um, I wasn't sure if they'd turn out. So rather than invest in mounted canvas, I just painted on this um, loose canvas. But if they want to be framed, they have to be either stretched or mounted on a board. And so today I want to show you how to mount on a board and all the tips and tricks of how to do that in a um, high quality and easy affordable way. So the first step you want to do is figure out where the, where the painted edge starts and stops and transfer it to the back side. So what you'll want to do is grab a pencil and a ruler and a window. You'll be able to see it very clearly where the painted edge starts and stops when you hold it up to the light. A light box will also work. So the next step to do is measure exactly what, what size is inside. It's better to be um, a little tiny bit smaller than it is to be bigger. So it's important to measure exactly. This one measures at eight and one eighth. And I need a longer ruler for this long way. 18 and seven eighths. It's good to measure both sides to make sure it's straight, 18 and seven eighths. So the proper tool to use to cut the, this board would probably be a table saw. But you know what, I had one of those and um, I was scared of it. So what I use now, this is a jigsaw. I have one of these and this is like just a cute little handy tool with a little saw blade on there. And um, I'm not scared of this thing, although you know I'm very careful with it. It has this nice guard so I can't hurt myself too bad. But I um, clamp a board on it so I can I measure wh where I need to cut and then clamp the board and then just run this along that board and it works pretty well. It needs to be sanded at the end because the edge leaks, is a little bit rough, but that's okay. I have one of these one of these sanders here works really great because it makes such a mess to do the cutting part. I like to wait till I have a whole bunch of canvases to be mounted and I cut a whole bunch at one time outside in the driveway. So I had pre-cut this one already, but now that I've measured it against the board, I see that just this tiny little bit has to be cut off this edge. So because this is quarter inch plywood, I'm going to try a very cheap and easy way of cutting this. I have my cutting mat down on the table and a utility knife and a metal ruler. There. Oh, I like that. That actually doesn't have many slivers or anything. That's a really nice way of cutting it. So in addition to the board, um, fitting inside this pencil line, you also want to make sure that it is perfectly square. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time framing it later. So how to check is you measure um, this side and this side have to equal and then this side and this side have to equal and then you'll know that it's perfectly square. And then you'll have an easier time in the end. Don't ask me how I learned that one. Well, we've reached the fun part of the video where we get to play with glue and paste, sticky stuff. So I have my table protector laid out. I've got my paste out. This is called Yes Paste. Um, and the thing to watch for when you go to the art store looking for something is this. 
acid-free for archival work. I've heard of people using acid-free PVA glue that also works great. This stuff is called Yes Paste and it's super thick. Look at this. Ooh. So I put it on with this palette knife. It's got a square lid and it seems to work good for digging into this mucky mess. So. You want to go around and catch any drips off the edge. It'll make it cleaner to apply the other thing, the canvas, and then we'll scrape off any excess into the jar and then wipe the knife off with a paper towel. One time I forgot to clean this knife off in time. This paste dries relatively quickly. Well, I was able to get it clean by soaking it in some isopropyl alcohol and then it softened up the paste and it was able to come off. So now before I get the canvas over here, I want to go wash my hands. I want to make sure that the canvas stays nice and clean. I'll be right back. Oops. So here we have our canvas um, that we're going to mount and we're going to do it over in a clean spot on the table, just in case there was a little bit of adhesive um, from where I'm working over here, we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna take this, holding it by the edge, and set it on here. Now we need to adjust it so that it fits squarely inside all of those lines that we drew earlier in the window. We'll flip it back over. So now what we want to do is start in the center and work our way out. Of course, your painting needs to be super dry so that you're not smudging paint around. You can also do this with completely blank canvas before you paint. I like to paint first because that way, if the painting doesn't work, I don't feel bad if about throwing it away. I'm doing two things. Working out any lumps that might be a pasty lumps underneath here, where you might see it if you hold it up to the light, light on an angle. And the other thing I'm doing is creating a good adhesion between that canvas and the board. You want an, that adhesive rubbed in really, really well. So we're done with this. It just needs to dry overnight. So we're gonna set it here, put a little um, wax paper over the top. Then you grab some books and you want a nice flat, even surface that has some weight to it. So just keep piling on the books and wait till morning. So this is a canvas that I did yesterday and it has dried overnight. And so I wanna show you how to trim off the excess around the edge. So I have the cutting mat out and I'm protecting the painted surface with some um, wax paper and I have an X-Acto knife. So we're just going to trim around the edge, Oop, not the wood. You want to just get the canvas as close to the wood as you can. And it might need a second to get that there. See how that looks. And there's the finished product. The edges are nice and clean and it's mounted. If it pulls up right here, it pulled up just a tiny bit, you can stick a little more yes paste in there and then again weight it down overnight. Otherwise, great. 
Well, those are my tips and tricks for how to mount canvas to board. If you still have questions and I didn't answer everything in this video, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them. Also, if you have additional tips and tricks to t share with me, I'd love to hear them. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to follow along on this journey as we get ready for the art show in December, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell. And then you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thanks. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.